Elizabeth Montgomery is independent and blind until a violent attack forces her to trust again. Nobody ever told me that it hurts so much to love somebody. Can Barry Newman give her the courage to chance a risky operation? You're going to see. I've taken enough chances in my life. Second Sight, a love story, tonight. Back in the 60s, Leona Mindy Roberts was a very successful real estate broker in New York City. In 1972, when she married real estate magnate Harry Helmsley, the second marriage for each of them, she became the wife of one of the wealthiest men in America. Forbes magazine has Helmsley near the top of the top 400. Some even estimate his worth at up to $5 billion. Well, today, Leona Helmsley commands an empire of her own. She's president of a chain of 26 hotels. When we first broadcast this story back in January, we realized from the amount of mail we received that Leona creates a strong impression. There are those who love her and those who distinctly don't. Last year, for instance, the New York Daily News voted her one of the 10 pushiest women in New York. Pushy or not, she's an astute businesswoman who rules over her kingdom with a jeweled fist. Among her hotels, New York's Helmsley Palace. Her ad campaign dubs her Queen of the Palace. The campaign shows her as the gracious hostess welcoming her guests. Lovely. Queen Leona, mistress of, watchdog of, every Lovely. elegant touch at her palace. Am I comfortable? I make a living. It may be just a clever advertising ploy, but the fact is there is no task too large, no detail too small to escape the eagle eye of the queen. That's good. Okay, stay then, stay then. And like most queens, She's used to getting her own way. Don't you think that we could get more humor into this ad in addition to the peeking out? Well, Did somebody catch you? Uh, something like that, or me catching somebody. Well, it's hard. Uh, it's because oh, that would be fun. It's too but it's too complicated. Uh, it's too, if you does, think about it, you'll uncomplicate it. It look like a Norman Rockwell drawer. Don't worry about it. He's doing fine. Queen, we have been trying to clear Stop your schedule for next week. It's okay. terrible. Oh, it's really terrible. All right, Mrs. H. You have nothing to do. Good evening. Few bosses are as visible to the help as Helmsley is. She's apt to show up any time, any place. You're all doing very well, thank you. Almost. What is that? What happened there? We don't know. We don't Somebody know? Just, we just noticed it. It just happened. Well, let's get, you, let's get your engineer up here today. You run all of these hotels? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I mean, honest to Pete, you run the hotels or you're just the figurehead, the person? My foot. I run them. Tough? Very. If you're being paid to do something, do it. If you're not doing it, I'm tough and you can't work for me. Is it still leaking or isn't it? I think that I'll drive now. It seemed to. I want the engineer up here. I want him in the ceiling, and I want to know whether it's still continuing or if it has dried out. Loud and clear? Yes, sir. It's my home. It's truly my home. You need a rag there, don't you? What do you do? Security. Security. We don't need security here. Let's go outside. We have people outside. It's being repaired. No, no, that's dirt. How do you repair dirt? Let's get it up. Let me read your piece, or from a piece. All right, all right. Faster than a guided missile, Helmsley That's bore me. down on the Matress D. Right. This your room? Yes, ma'am. Don't yes, ma'am. Me, I'm furious with you. This place is, is a disgrace. I want these trays filled, etc., etc., etc. She's very good today. She's one of my best employees today, and you will never see that again. Not in her room. Maybe someone else's, but not hers. So when they call you fascist... Who calls me a fascist? Well, come on. <laughs> this is not so clean. They say I'm tough. They don't say a man is tough. And this does not belong to... Let's go. They say he's, he's a great businessman. I mean, deep down, professionally speaking... You have also. nothing to do? <laughs> you have nothing to do? I'm waiting, ma'am. Gorgeous! Dreamboat? But Leona Helmsley, tough businesswoman, turns into the little woman where Harry Helmsley is concerned. He's brilliant, he's funny, and he's gorgeous. Outside of that, I have nothing. <laughs> At 75, Harry Helmsley, who owns the Empire State Building and a couple of hundred more, is hardly slowing down. 
The day before we visited him in Connecticut, he told us, he had picked up 80 more buildings across the country. Look at his head. You notice it? Yeah, it's good looking head. He's got a beautiful head. He has some... Turn your head, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, sure. He's got... Look, I'll show you. <laughs> I don't believe it. I swear, I'll show you. you I don't believe it either, because I'm behind it. Darling, oh, I know. <laughs> no, no let, I'll show you something. Turn around. Look at the shape of the head. You can see the brain just sits there. I'm very serious now. Beautiful head, Tommy. I love it. Look, darling, uh, as long as you're convinced, let the rest of the world go by. They bought this Connecticut estate a year ago, 26 acres, 28 rooms, for just the two of them. He didn't indulge me and say, here's a little house, darling. The only thing that Harry ever indulged me with is, I have sheep. <laughs> How many sheep? We only have four. Names? One is Bo, one is Pete, one is Ba, one is Ba Ba. Come here, Bo. Come here, Pete. Here, Bo. It's your mother. They are dumb. Come on back, Bo. We'll make one more approach, but I don't think they'd really want to spend any time with us. Bo! You know something? Huh? I think this is the only individual I have ever seen ignore you altogether. <laughs> Wait until I take the grass away. <laughs> and this building structure is just what? Tell him. It's, it's the enclosure of the swimming pool for indoor swimming in the wintertime. Bad weather. And up top? Well, on top, we're going to have, of course, dance a dance floor. in an old-fashioned way. Uh, so... Oh, just stay in my... How do you like my It's voice? none of my business, but... You like my voice? <laughs> it's none of my business, but... We're not just... telling you. What? We're not telling you. <laughs> How much? I don't know. <laughs> not a penny less than a million dollars for the pool and the... Silence means a sin. <laughs> You're the just about right. Really? Yeah. yeah. But uh, it, it's got special things. <laughs> oh, yes. It, it better. <laughs> For a million bucks. If you're the Helmsleys, you're never without one. A swimming pool, that is. Although in Greenwich, Connecticut, pools are a dime a dozen. But when you live in a penthouse in New York City, a pool is a trifle more unique. And this is our terrace. Now, wait just a second. Okay. This is the 47th floor. 47th floor of the Park Lane Hotel. About 15 yards long, swimming pool. Right. This is basically your exercise regime? In the, yes. Well, first I do a half hour on the floor of floor exercises. I never get out of the house. <laughs> and this, of course. Oh, my. It's paradise. Oh, my. How much of all of this do you Helmsley's own? Do you Helmsley's own? Harry owns, well, I don't know. But you own Harry. No, I don't own Harry. I love Harry, but I don't own Harry. Unless he wants to be. He wants to be, it's okay. But how much really does well, he own them all? It, I would say that Harry, Harry owns about 200 buildings. About 200 buildings. And he likes to stand up here as monarch uh, of all he surveys and say, oh, I, I own this, I own well, that. He stands here and he says, I'm taking inventory. I own this, I own this, I own this, and that one, and that one, and that one. He plays Monopoly, but with yes, real building. With real building. Did you marry Harry at all for his money? Look, you're not going to say, yes, I married Harry Helmsley for his money. But. No, Harry Helmsley married me for my money. I gave him all my money when I married him. <laughs> I gave him one million dollars that I had put away for myself because I was never getting married. What? You heard me. I had one million dollars of my own. That you'd earned? That I had earned, all right. As a broker, I was the best in the, in the field. That's why he, he went after me, say. But uh, when I married Harry, really a lot of people probably did think along those lines. Sure. So why not, I guess. I don't get paid. I don't draw a salary. Really? Okay. You don't? Seriously? As, as president of the Harley Hotel? Well, I don't. He gives me titles. No money. <laughs> Why? Why don't you pay her a salary? Well, I can get it for nothing. Why should, <laughs> <laughs> Why should I pay for something when I can get it for nothing? Come on, Harry. Why don't you? No, I'm That's serious. why. He's telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I don't care about the money. What am I going to pay her for? <laughs> sure. She'd put it in my bank account anyhow. I have it back again. And then I'd have to pay tax on it because I'd, she'd, she'd, be, I earn it. <laughs> she'd be earning it. What's mine is hers. And vice versa. I don't care. It's not a question of do I pay her. She, she owns uh, any, everything I have. Okay. 
I own everything she has. Gotcha. And she told me that she gave you a million dollars. Well, that was in the old days. When a million dollars was a million dollars. You know something? God. That's really disgusting. <laughs> the fact is that Leona Helmsley runs a very successful operation. Her flagship Helmsley Palace Hotel is outperforming even the most optimistic predictions. I have the rates available of 165, 175, 195. And profits are up on most of her other hotels as well. Hello. How are you today? I'm coming back. Take care of your customers. Okay, thank you. Okay, and then the secondary will be 135. Okay. You know, I noticed that they keep saying okay rather than saying okay. You should be saying yes. Yes, or uh, very well, anything but. Those who may take exception to her style surely cannot argue with the results she gets. We thought maybe we could work with you on developing a fragrance for what, retail. What are we going to call it? Leona. Leona. And some people say they don't like the way I smell. Forget it. Okay. One more complaint, I close you up. You're doing a very good job. Thank, Thank you. you. I asked for something. I did not get it from you. I want it. I get the feeling, Mrs. Helmsley. Yes. I get the feeling that you'd be tough to deal with across the table. I'm, I'm, I... Yes, but I'm fair. I'm very fair. I think I am anyway. If I feel that you're trying to outsmart me, or if you lie to me, if you lie to me, you're through. I won't do business with you. Now, what I'm hearing now is a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. And I find it difficult to believe that this businesswoman turns into Cinderella at 5 o'clock in the afternoon nice and, and is playing courtesan to Harry Helmsley. It happens. We play magic. Are you never lonely, honest? I mean, there are the two of you and that's it. That's nice. <laughs> never. You had a son. No. Leona Helmsley's 40-year-old son died suddenly two years ago of a heart ailment and all the success, all the fulfillment of life with Harry is forgotten in a flash of pain. And then the steel reasserts itself. I'm tough. <laughs> you mean? I am tough. Oh, yeah, it's I can see easy. you're tough as a difference. It seems your only vulnerability. <laughs> Don't be silly. There are people are vulnerable, of course. You're vulnerable. Touch Harry, I'll show you how vulnerable I can. Mm. I've driven a lot of sports cars, but to get a legendary one for under $11,000, you're only talking Mazda RX-7. Cockpit's very well thought out. Everything's right where it should be. And nothing delivers power as smoothly as Mazda's rotary engine. All the way up through all five gears. Near perfect balance, too. At 10, 9.45, sports car value just doesn't get any better. Mazda RX-7. What's the twist? Now you can have the good things you get in a bran muffin in a crispy, good-tasting, high-fiber cereal. Bran Muffin Crisps. Raisins and almonds you can't resist in new bran muffin crisps. Here's another nice twist. Get a full rebate on new bran muffin crisps or a second box free. See specially marked packages for details. The goodness of bran with the twist. Brand new bran muffin crisps. 60 Minutes. A CBS News weekly magazine will continue. Tuesday, they aren't cops. They're two women who are willing to risk it all, saving their neighborhood from a stranglehold of terror, no matter what it costs. Night Partners, Tuesday. Monday, July 15th, join host Bob Barker and Joan Van Ark with special guest star John Denver as 82 beautiful women compete for the title of Miss Universe. This is CBS. Reliability.